want to, we can just put them over here if you want. Okay. There you go. Yeah, there's a little bit of drama around this picture. We called up the NSA and said, we're going to fly a helicopter over your headquarters, take pictures, which is perfectly legal. Um, they said, we don't want you to do that. We said, well, we're not asking permission. We're just telling you that we're doing this and don't shoot us. And the NSA sent a bunch of guys, I think seven guys, and posted them up at all different places in the airport to watch this flight. And I think they were making phone calls to the headquarters, having certain lights turned on and off. Um, the woman who owns the helicopter had baked a bunch of brownies and was actually driving around the little airport, like playing spot the NSA guys and like feeding them brownies. One of the reasons why you typically actually don't see photographs of the NSA headquarters is because it's surrounded by trees. There's only a couple of photographs, and there are a couple that everybody uses. So, I'm gonna load this up. Okay. okay. I generally don't like these so-called bird's eye or God's eye perspectives. That perspective implies a kind of mastery over something. It, it implies that perhaps you can see this and that it's transparent and we can understand it and it's this kind of insignificant thing which is on the ground below us. Whoa. <laughs> so this is just me trying to do something. What do um, you got going on there? So the red channel mm -hmm. is really bright, so I was just sort of just okay. blending in the blue channel a little bit. And the same with the blue, the blue is a little so I just sort of was blending back in to see. Mm -hmm. And I was going to put that on the luminosity. The next one's your profile. Let's yeah, see exactly. it in your profile. That's in our profile right now. It does look like we're at a shopping mall. It seems like a very kind of normal kind of looking place. And I struggle with that uh, because on one hand, the extent to which it, the NSA's tendrils um, are in our everyday lives, perhaps this perspective is at odds with that. Uh, but what I like about the perspective in this particular instance is that it puts you in a situation where we can look at a building like this and to some extent perhaps imagine that in fact these are civic institutions and that you as a member of the public should be able to exert the same kind of power over this institution that we can symbolically do by looking at a photograph shot from this perspective. Cool, so we'll see some variations cool. on this one for next time. And let's see, like, back on that Reaper image. If oh, yeah. You want that up there? This is about as big as it gets for me. There's only a couple of things that I've really done at this size. So I was just shooting, like, directly into the sun with the 4x5 camera. The idea from it actually came from a Turner painting called Angel in the Sun. These drums are called Reapers, so this is the Reaper in the Sun. Cool, so this is the range of stuff that we're looking at. Um, yeah. One of the advantages of, of using like traditional kind of film in a situation like that is that you can do weird stuff like overexpose a photograph shooting directly into the sun and still have some wiggle room, have something to play with. Like I wonder if there's like a magenta ring around here or if it's just like my eyes doing stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's yeah, super like weird. We've done tons of stuff where we put two prints right next yeah. to each other and yeah. we're like, oh, the one on the right, oh, it's yeah. cool or whatever. Yeah. And then we'll shift the back over and we're like, oh, the one on the right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like no, definitely, yeah. yeah the, even like putting white magnets opposed to black magnets. Cool. So I'm just like, if we can just cut down on some variables, like <laughs> we can kind of concentrate on what is changing and how to like address those things. In the sky there, it traditionally is a, is, a, is a promise of a kind of openness or a kind of freedom. But the sky itself has been turned against us. The drone is just the punctuation mark. Yeah. Joan looks great. Yeah.